Joining me now, Secretary of Labor and White House Coronavirus Task Force member Eugene Scalia. Mr. Secretary, welcome to Fox News Sunday. Mike, thanks for having me. Forty percent of the job growth in June, what was a huge jobs report, was in leisure and hospitality, which includes restaurants and bars. But now in some of those COVID hotspot states, those businesses are being restricted once again. How is that going to impact our economic growth? Well, Mike, uh, it was an extraordinary jobs report, as you said. Um, we added nearly 5 million jobs uh, in June. Projections had been that we might add around 3 million. So we did extremely well. And across uh, industri industrial sectors, for example, we saw really big gains in uh, manufacturing, we saw gains in construction, and we saw gains across really nearly all demographic groups. It was a terrific month. Um, but yes, we, we have uh, new cases. We have to keep an eye on that. Uh, I believe that we can continue uh, to reopen our workplaces safely. Uh, our workplaces can be very safe places to be, but there are precautions that the president, vice president have underscored, and those do remain important. We've gotten a reminder of that over the last couple of weeks. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell warned Congress this week that unless the virus is brought under control, the nation's economic outlook is extremely uncertain. So while the latest jobs report was very, very strong, how much does that concern you about the future? Well, um, yes, uh, the, the Federal uh, Reserve Chair expressed some concerns, but I think it's really important to, again, remember how much better than projected we've done so far. Uh, back in May, it was projected that we would lose 7.5 million jobs. Well, uh, we've now, over the last uh, couple of months, added 7.5 million jobs. I in other words, we're about 15 million ahead of where the experts said we were going to do. We're, we're doing very well. Uh, we do need to be careful about the virus. But I am just optimistic, um, uh, among other reasons, because uh, USMCA went into effect last week. We mm -hmm. finally put NAFTA to rest. This was something that was uh, so important to the president. Uh, USMCA will be another source of stimulus, job growth uh, to the country. So uh, there will be a talk uh, as we get deeper into the month about possible additional measures. But I am uh, optimistic, as I know the president is, about how we're reopening the success we're having right now, uh, rebuilding that really extraordinary economy that we had through February until the virus came. Last week's spending dropped, according to J.P. Morgan Chase, according to credit card customer data. Isn't this summer vacation season when people are supposed to be out spending? Isn't that the driving force of GDP? Well, overall spending, uh, uh, retail spending, uh, consumer spending generally, uh, new home starts, all of these have been actually very encouraging uh, economic indicators uh, over the last uh, about six weeks or so. So I think when you dig past the job numbers, look at other economic uh, indicators, Mike, actually it's, it's encouraging on that front too. Now, uh, you know, that doesn't mean that uh, we, we should rest content. We know that there remain uh, many Americans still out of work. Uh, we want to help them get back to work. Uh, that's why the president is talking about a potentially additional tax cut. You know, it was the president's tax cuts. It was uh, his elimination of unnecessary, burdensome regulations that delivered that amazing economy we had before the virus struck. And so I think uh, additional measures along those lines do warrant discussion as we continue to move forward this month. Do you see a V-shaped recovery going into the fall, sir? Those are the indications that we see. Um, we, again, have just been doing so much better over the last two months now than was being projected. And, uh, and, and again, when you look at some of the uh, more micro data, very strong indications there as well. But that said, it is going to be important, as you're noting, that uh, people take uh, uh, social distancing seriously, uh, wear masks in circumstances uh, often where they're not able to social distance and the like. Uh, we can reopen safely. We can reopen while the virus is still there. Uh, but it will get more challenging if people don't take that seriously. Speaking of that, on COVID-19, since you are a member of the Coronavirus Task Force, new cases in the U.S. hit the largest single-day total on Friday, 57,497. And new coronavirus cases are on the rise in nearly 40 states, plus Mississippi, Tennessee, Texas, Nevada, and Arizona, all setting records for hospitalizations on Thursday. Looking at the rising cases in these states, did they move too soon or too fast? 
We knew that uh, as people came out of their homes, emerged from their basements and the like, we, we knew uh, that, that cases would go up. We are far, far better prepared to deal with those cases now uh, than we were just a few months ago. We've got a much better understanding of how to treat the virus. We uh, have the equipment, the hospital beds uh, now to uh, deal with the situation. Um, so this is something uh, that we can manage, but part of managing it is, as I've been, as I've been emphasizing, uh, individual responsibility as well. Uh, so we are positioned to deal with these challenges, uh, but we, again, we'll, we'll have to take them seriously. And the task force is certainly focused on uh, delivering aid uh, to these uh, locations as uh, the cases increase. The CDC, the Department of Health and Human Services are dispatching uh, personnel, expertise, and equipment uh, where they're needed. In terms of economic growth, President Trump's talking about what he would like from Congress in the next COVID relief package. Let me start with phase four and what might potentially come later this month. Another round of direct payments for individuals. Do you support that at this time? I do. I support it, but it has to be done properly, and I support actually larger numbers than the Democrats. Mr. Secretary, do you expect a deal shortly after lawmakers return from the Independence Day holiday? I think there are going to be a lot of discussions toward the end of the month about uh, uh, what additional, additional measures may be needed. The president moved uh, so swiftly and so effectively to get bipartisan relief uh, with Congress uh, back in March. That was those direct payments. It was the Paycheck Protection Program, which I think has been really an essential part of the recovery we're experiencing right now. Um, and, and it was also a, a very substantial unemployment benefit the pe president put in place in March. So uh, we did a very good job, I think, back in March positioning ourselves for this reopening. And I think the American people can be confident that the president is going to take a careful look again uh, at what uh, further measures may be needed now. Speaking of that, the president has also been clear about wanting the payroll tax cut. There's been resistance to that on Capitol Hill with some Republican senators being pretty blunt and saying they are not in favor. Are you prepared to give Democrats an unemployment insurance extension to get the payroll tax cut? Well, uh, I think the payroll tax cut is uh, could be an important part of, among other things, bringing Americans back to work and fueling uh, job growth in the country. It was the tax cuts, as I mentioned, the president put in place that uh, had a much stronger economy back in February than people were projecting. And I, I, I think that we should uh, listen to the president's uh, views on this as, as we move forward. In terms of the uh, unemployment benefit, uh, it was a really important thing to do as we were shutting our economy down. Americans across the country were basically being told, um, uh, and, and we needed to take measures, but they were basically being told, you can't go to work right now. And so we needed that substantial uh, unemployment benefit. But, you know, there's some states where you can get, on an annual basis, $75,000 a year right now on unemployment. And I think as we reopen the economy, um, I, I don't know that we need a, a benefit like that. Uh, during the so-called Great Recession 10, 12 years ago, when we had a downturn, the added federal unemployment benefit was, was $25 a week. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and what we did in the CARES Act was $600 a week. Uh, so I think this is something we'll get a look at, but I don't think we need that $600 benefit going forward. Mr. Secretary, finally, I ask this with great sensitivity since I miss my own father every day. The president has spoken this weekend defending statues in this country, including announcing he'd like to include a statue of your late father, Justice Antonin Scalia, in a new national garden. What would that mean to your family, sir? Well, it's, it would mean a lot. I, I, I didn't see that, that one coming, Mike, and it was really touching to hear. Um, I, I hope it would mean a lot to the American people, too. Uh, we, we need heroes. Uh, we need to admire our, our forebears and, and recognize what is great and good in our past. And that is what the president is, uh, is emphasizing right now. Uh, as we were reminded yesterday, uh, we are a nation conceived in liberty and, and dedicated to the proposition that, that all men are created equal. Uh, no other nation can claim such an inspiring founding, so, so many great forebears. And I certainly was touched to hear my father uh, included on that kind of a list. Mr. Secretary, thank you. Thanks for your time on this holiday weekend. Please come back.